Brad, maybe uh, talk a little bit about uh, you playing in this tournament. Uh, I'm not sure if it's like development camp, whether you went to management and said, hey, I want to be a part of this. I want to be part of the leadership group. How did all of this evolve that uh, you're going to Penticton for a second year? Uh, third year. Third year. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just got an invite just like all the other players. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to go. I think it's good to get games, games under my belt and uh, – kind of get the feel for the games before main camp and uh, you know I think that kind of gives you a head start so I'm happy to happy to play some games and happy to you know be with the guys and uh, get to know them better. Yeah, you know, I mean whether it's Moose players or whether it's guys that were even here earlier this summer for development camp uh, I would imagine there's already a little bit of chemistry out there. Yeah for sure I mean I think development camp played a big part in that and getting to you know know all those guys and uh, i develop some sort of, sort of relationship with them and you know now we're just looking to build off that so as you mentioned it's your third uh, trip to Penticton so do you go there this year with the idea that you know as much as it's getting prepared for the year that you want to be one of the frontline players in that tournament yeah of course I mean uh, that's uh, I think every time you step on the ice you try to be the best you can and uh, you know I just want to want to go there with the mentality that uh we go win three games. We haven't done it there yet while I've been there. So, uh, you know, I just uh, – winning's always fun, make it a great trip. So uh, just go there and win three games, and I'm just looking to help the team do that. Brad, we talked to Mark Scheifele yesterday, and he was speaking of the excitement for the coming season. And when he was asked about what's, what excites him, he talked about job opportunities for young guys, and he specifically mentioned you right off the hop as, as a guy he's really excited to see. He felt, you know, you grew your game a lot last year. What's it mean to have a guy like Mark Scheifele say he's really excited to kind of see you and what you can do? Yeah, that's obviously unbelievable. You know, one of the one of the great players in this organization. Uh, you know, I've followed him since I was a, a little kid. So uh, for him to say like something like that, uh, super exciting, obviously. But uh, you know, at the same time, I got a lot of work ahead of me. I gotta, you know, just take it a day at a time and uh, you know do this young stars thing first, and then uh, you know go to training camp and work my bag off and hopefully you know uh, we'll see what happens but uh, yeah that's the that's the goal right now. Obviously one of the big developments this summer on the prospect front was a guy like Rucker um, being moved and Braden comes in I understand you know Braden a little bit just yeah. kind of both being Saskatchewan guys uh, um, I guess so just your 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 take on on his addition to this organization. Uh, he's a great guy. I love him. He's a great, great player, great guy. Uh, you know, I've, I've been rooming with him here, so uh, we we bonded pretty quick. And uh, obviously, I I knew him a little bit from back in Saskatoon. But uh, you know, a great kid, great player. So uh, I'm sure we're all excited to have him here. Brett, at the start of the off season, you said that you wanted to get uh, put on more weight in this off season to try to build your strength and your ability to win puck battles. How successful were you over the last two, three months in that quest? Uh, I put on eight pounds this summer, so uh, pretty pretty successful. Uh, I was working out in, in Toronto, and, uh, you know, I feel like I had a good summer, got stronger, put on a little bit of weight, and, but still was able to, you know, keep my speed and, and uh, quickness out there. Can you feel it out there already, like as far as your um, ability to protect the puck in, in, in tight spaces, all those things? Uh, yeah, I mean, have we didn't do too many battles in there, but uh, you know, I feel like when I've been skating in the summer, I've I've felt stronger out there. Were you working with Gary Roberts in Toronto? Yeah. Who else did you skate with this summer? NHLers? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of a lot of guys over there. They got a great, great, uh, great facility, great practice training center. So. How ready are you for the opportunity that's kind of in front of you <coughs> next week, starting next week in training camp? Yeah, I think, like I've said many times, you know, I'm super excited. Uh, I'm obviously just going in, taking it a day at a time and, and trying to trying to do everything I can and uh, uh, work hard and try to earn a spot like I have the last two years that I've came here. You know, every every time I came here, I said my goal has been to, to try and make the team, and that's what I'm doing again. I know it's going to take a lot of hard work, take a – Take a lot, but uh, you know I feel like I'm I'm ready to put in the work, and uh, you know uh, hopefully. But right now I'm just taking it a day at a time, and and uh, you know first we got this young stars thing, and that's as far as I'm I'm looking forward right now is those three games and hopefully winning them. Brad, we know you have the offensive ability, but one of the things Mark 
the head coach of the Moose, Mark Morrison, talked about last year was your jump in defensive ability and how he saw your growth significantly. How, how big was that for you last year, getting that opportunity to really make your mark with the Moose? Yeah, it was awesome. Obviously, uh, you know, got a got a lot of opportunity there, which was which was great. Uh, you know, the older players really helped me a lot, uh, took me in. All I had to worry about was was the hockey aspect of it, which was awesome. And uh, you know, I had a had a really fun year, and I feel like I I took some steps forward. What does it mean, mean to see guys like Jeff Mollat, who Jeff Reveal, those guys, Christian Reich, I'll take you know, go to new new organizations, but still make a big impact with you. Yeah, uh, I was so happy for them. They helped me, helped me so much. Uh, you know, made me feel at home here, and uh, for them to to get those new opportunities, uh, I, I can't wait to wait to keep watching them and cheering them on. Brad, what are some of the last few steps that you feel you need to make in order to make that jump onto the Jets and stay there? Yeah, I think just consistency uh, to be able to do it night in and night out. Uh, you know, like I said, this summer I needed to get stronger. I feel like I've I've done that, and uh, just to uh, be be aware and uh, you know on the defensive side of the puck, just uh, you know make sure I'm engaged in the battles, win one-on-one -on -one battles. Uh, you know, I think if I'm able to to win the majority of my one-on-one -on -one battles, the uh, team will have the puck more, and uh, you know I'll have the puck more, which uh, helps me use my my speed and skill.